sucker for marketing. I am a sucker for marketing. And if you're watching this and you watch a lot of my videos, you're a sucker for marketing too. Admit it. All right, guys. So I was in the local Walgreens, which is something I'm always doing. And I came across this new packaging, Schick's Extreme 4. It's called Outlast. And up top here, it says lasts longer or longer lasting. And it's new. <laughs> All the things I love. All right, so reading the back here, it says that... They're titanium-coated blades that provide an extremely close shave. There's an edger that gets into the hard-to-reach spaces and spots and helps shape facial hair. All right? Now, there's no description of what lasts longer actually means, which is, from a legal standpoint, probably the right thing to do. So what is last longer? So I thought about maybe doing a series of shaves to see how truly how long these last. Probably not gonna do that guys because I like to shave and show you different things. And if I get tied into like how many shaves I can get out of this, then I'm wasting 15, 16 days potentially. But anyway, new packaging, new look, like the Schick Extreme line. I'm a big fan of the Schick Extreme 3. I just like the form factor, the way the blade is. But this is cool. I figured I'd do a quick shave with this today and get and get cracking. For you, I'm bringing value to you. Let's do a quick unboxing, guys. And their little tab that allows you to quickly get to this it just did not work. All right, so let's take a look at this. Looks like your extreme line. It's got this sort of a wedge head up here. You got the four blades, titanium coated. And there are these little, you can't see it on the video, but there are these little vertical lines going vertically across the uh, the blades they're like it's like a slight bar not as um significant as you would see on the quattro series from Schick but i think it's just another layer of protecting you from the blades you've got your rubber guide down here lubrication strip up top and there is the edger right I like this wedge shape because it fits nicely, provides good contact to the face when I've tried this in the past. Pretty good pivot, solid, rubber and plastic, but feels solid, slip proof. So let's get right into it. First step, wash the face with warm water with a nice face scrub. I'll put some pre-shave oil on, which prepares the face and the bristles for shaving. And then we'll put my favorite Gillette foam mousse on. You wanna be gentle with your face. It's the only one you have. And you always wanna prep the skin with warm water, guys, not hot water, because hot water can damage your pretty face. All right, one pump of pre-shave oil. And I'm gonna work that into the bristles Again, getting the whiskers ready to receive the blade. Just work that in. Now I'm gonna rinse this again off with warm water, but I'm not gonna do like a, a real solid rinse. I'll just, just a quick rinse. I wanna leave some of this oil on the skin and I'm gonna squeegee with my hand the excess water and leave a little bit of that pre-shave oil behind. And now I'm gonna apply my favorite Gillette foam mousse, guys. Link in the description box below, this is hard to come by. Put it on with a brush, put it on with your hand, whatever you wanna do, put it on. And it's got that barbershop, that old time barbershop smell. Uh, just brings you back, guys. 
bring you back to the barber shop. I'm not gonna go crazy with multiple passes today. I have like a day and a half growth. I'm just gonna neaten it up, test the blade out, and be on my way. So one pass with the grain, maybe a little clean up against the grain or across grain, but nothing major. So now that that's on and I'm looking like I'm ready to shave, let's get cracking. We wanna have the, the blades itself wet. I'm going with the grain of the hair on my face. So hair's growing down, going with the grain. And very nice. Very nice guys, look at that. Cleaning frequently and letting the device do the work. What I like about a cartridge razor for the most part, you got these long handles guys, right? I like to be sort of three, fi three fingers towards the end, one up to guide, slight pressure, but not too much. And you hear those blades doing the work. Again, we're cleaning often so you don't clog up the razor. Very, very nice. Loving this. That wedge, that just provides good contact, guy. Good contact. Take your time. Oh, nice. I'm gonna finish the shave and then I'm gonna show you the, the edging device. All right, so hair on my neck grows upwards, most of us. So I'm gonna flip the blade over to shave with the grain. Oh yeah, very good, nice shave. You hear those blades doing the work. No clogging. There's another reason I like Gillette foam mousse. No clogging, guys. I find that oily-based lotions are a clog, a culprit. The pre-shave oil provides a nice little layer of an oily base for that protection, but does not get up into your blades to clog them up. Nice. And there you go. I can feel around to see where I might have missed some spots, but for the most part, Feels good, but if I want just a, another quick little pass, I'm gonna stay off my neck because that's where I have a tendency of getting irritated, but quick, just long stroke, cross grain, pass on the face. Just to catch any of those hairs that may be growing out of step. I really like this blade. All right. Because it has a, a nice slim form factor, it's short, sort of shallow from the top to that first blade, you can get up into the nooks and crannies, but if you feel like you just need to get closer, here's that precision trimmer. Not a big fan of these 
because I feel like you can really cut yourself if you do it the wrong way. You could trim here if you wanted to, which is nice. I'll do a against the grain quick gloss over my neck. And then I'm done. Average guy tested, average guy approved on this new Extreme 4 from Schick Outlast. So I'll uh, rinse off now with, again, warm water. Pat the skin. Not ripping at the skin. Now I've been known to rip at my skin on camera. And a couple of uh, the viewers are like, yo, bro. You know you're doing that wrong. You've only got one face, so you wanna be gentle with it, guys. I'm gonna finish up with a uh, an aftershave bomb. You know my favorite, Duke Cannon. Ice cold aftershave bomb. It's got a nice menthol smell to it. If ice goes on icy. And provides a little bit of heat on the back end and you're smelling sweet. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Smelling fine. Looking fine. Feeling fine. All right, guys. I want to thank you, as usual, for watching. I'll see you again probably tomorrow. Because when I was a kid and I started my first job back in 1994, yes, I am old. At the time, I wore a tie every day. I had to be clean shaven every day. So every morning with the shower, I would shave five days a week. And then I would let the stubble grow on the weekends. So I think I might do a five or six day shave in a row just to show you a bunch of different razors. Next on the list, every time I go into Walgreens, I look at this. It's just very attractive packaging. Nice orange handles here, five blades. And again, I love anything that's new. You you could sell me stuff that's 20 years old if you put new on the package. And they say it's comparable to the Sensor 5, Gillette Sensor 5. So maybe I'll be back tomorrow and look at this. They do a good job. Walgreens does a good job with their marketing guys. Trimmer for shaving goatee and sideburns. Double-coated blade edge for close, comfortable shave. Anti-clog cartridge to quickly rinse clean. You love that? Lubricating strip with vitamin E to help reduce skin irritation. It's ideal for sensitive skin. Dermatologist tested, and it's hypoallergenic. That'll be next up. As always, I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Next up with this. But in the meantime, you know what to do. You got to keep pushing play. Have a great day.